So, something uh, funny happened to me the other day in Magic the Gathering Arena. This is a game that has been kicking my ass pretty consistently for about three months. Three months on and off. And then the other day, um, seemingly apropos of nothing, I went on an 11 match winning streak. And now I'm somehow in Platinum 1. Uh, six matches away from Diamond. And I have no fucking clue how I got here. Uh, I'm at a loss to explain it. And I'm terrified of, of jinxing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record... Uh, here we go. Record my, um, my matches. And then I'm going to try and... I'm going to commentate over them. Uh, after the fact, in the hope of explaining uh, how the fuck I uh, I got here, and 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 if I get to diamond, however long that takes, um, how I uh, how I got there. I've had to mulligan twice already. That's not good. Probably going to lose this one. Uh, yeah, so we'll call this series, this little diary video series, Mr. Jordan's Path to Ultimate Diamond Victory slash Defeat Dilly is Appropriate uh, to 2020 edition. Um, yeah, so here I am, mono green. Uh, I'd usually be hoping to play a couple of creatures. Uh, Paradise, oh super, and is my Paradise Druid coming out? Uh, and I'll attack. He, he's not going to trade for this because uh, he's going to need his Paradise Druid for um, for mana acceleration. So, uh... <clears throat> so now we wait. Oh. oh, okay. I guess he is going to trade. Uh, I should point out a bit of kayfabe here. I'm actually... I'm not... I'm actually commentating these after the fact. I didn't have the foresight to uh, to record as I was playing. Here's my Nylea. Um and I don't need my I don't need this druid anymore, so I can just tap it for hex, take off hexproof. Um, this isn't the best situation to be in. Uh, he's playing growth spiral. He's not playing any lands though, so he's growth spiraling, but he's not drawing any lands. Uh, it's not a great position to be in having to tap for Nylea this early. Another growth spiral. No joy. Uh, but I was thinking, I think I'm going to get away with it. Usually you want to have a couple more creatures out on the board at this point, but I'll, I'll pelt collector and then I'll yacht. No. Well, no, I won't. Because I just won my first game really fucking easy. Uh, on to game two, I guess. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying, um, bit of kayfabe, this is recorded after the fact. I didn't have the presence of mind to record ahead of time. This is a pretty good opening hand, I'll probably keep this. Uh, uh, I got a two drop, a three, a four, kind of a five, sort of, not really. I mean, I can make this work, it'll do. At this point, I was thinking, since that, Paradise Druid is tapped, it would be a great time to take it out with my Voracious Hydra. But then I thought, oh, I know what I can do. I can use my Harpooner to take out that flying unit. And because I'm an idiot, I didn't realize that it stopped uh, that effect from happening. So that's a misplay from me. And and I deserve to lose this one. Uh, luckily, this guy also fucks up. Seems to not realise that I've just played a thing with Reach. Because, and I'm just sat here going, huh, alright. <laughs> I guess I'll just block it then. So, Platinum 1! Not the strongest decks. Um, not the best players, either. So, uh, I'm glad I didn't play my Hydra earlier, because I actually have uh, enough mana to get rid of this flyer. I think. Yeah, I do, right? I, I'm double checking here because it's. 
Whenever that menu, that auto pay menu comes up, I always think it's it's telling me I don't have enough. But I do. And uh, at this point, it's more or less over. Uh, I've got a huge amount of board advantage. <laughs> Growth barrel. What is it with these 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 like acceleration decks? This like you have to actually. Yeah, there we go. You just have to play something. Anyway, that that's that was my second match. I did it. Here we are, third match in, and feeling pretty confident now, but also anticipating disaster. Not playing this opening hand, no good. This is better. Um, I might, in some situations, keep both pelt collectors for a three drop, you know, with another two, but in this instance. Um, I'm probably just going to go Pelt Collector Troll, hope that I draw something for two, or maybe three, and then Questing Beast. Is this another green-blue, like, big bastard deck? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> All the way up through... No, that's wrong. Land first, mate. Yeah, there we go. Um, all the way up through Platinum, four to one. It's just been steadfastly on meta decks. Like these solitaire decks that that play really easily and have really powerful cards. You just drop them in order. This is a bad move. I've got, what? What is that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then 12. I've almost got lethal in my hand. You can't be just flashing out a, a fucking enchantment on turn three. Jesus. Yeah, so... What was this? Three Simnic decks in a row now? Fucking hell. <laughs> anyway, Questing Beast. This is tw oh, no, 13 damage. Yes, I got lethal here. There you go. Three and oh, first three games. Uh... Welcome to Platinum 1, everybody. This is... This is how it goes. <laughs> I'm spazzing out here because I can't quite believe how easy it's been so far. Uh, not going to stay easy, though, is it? Look at this jerk. He knows what's up. Generally speaking, um, this deck does really well going first. Less well um, going second. It's hugely dependent on uh, favourable trades. Having to mulligan twice is never a good start. But, you know, Krull Harpooner, Paradise Druid, a bit of acceleration. I can make this work. Or I could have made this work. So, green and black, and at this point I'm thinking, what can this be? It could be... Uh, insects, which would be bad for me. It could be Death Touch, which would be bad for me. Some sort of deck that bounces cards out of the graveyard. That would be bad for me. So this is not looking particularly strong uh, matchup for me. Just from the, the, the deck colours. But, you know, I had to mulligan twice. But I've got a pretty solid bit of board presence here. And then this comes out. And I have never seen this before, ever. It's one of these Theros enchantment creatures. And... Um, I think to myself, okay, this has to go. Whatever this deck is, it's some sort of enchantment nonsense. So just just bite it. Bite it and then hope he doesn't have anything anything else. And uh And that I I think that that right there is is where I lose. <laughs> Cause he just keeps playing these fucking enchantments. They're all enchantments. His, his deck is just nothing but enchantments and creatures that get stronger if they're in enchantments. But at this point, I'm, I'm just playing what I have in hand. I'm like, okay, Questing Beast. That, that'll do. That'll be fine. And, uh, and yeah, I, I should have kept that. I, I, see, I'm saying that I should have kept it because right here, this, this enchantment, Aspect of Lamprey, is, is where he gets me. 
I, I lose a card and he gets lifelink. So that's it. He's completely decimated me in one go. And and like an idiot, I go, oh, I'll, pro I'll probably top deck something. So I, I, I let him hit me. Idiot. That right there is me giving up. I mean, I, I, like, playing that Lamprey card, I've lost already. This this just carries on as you might expect, and I end up, I end up losing. Making worse trade after worse trade, and then I just lose. But, you know, you uh, you can't win them all. So, you know, three and one, not terrible. Let's let's go forward. Let's not lose any momentum. Let's not just start throwing games for completely stupid reasons. <laughs> uh, this isn't a terrible open hand. Uh, one creature, two enchantments, and the question is, the, the Wolf Willow Hollows for me are um, are like a proxy for the elves, the um, the druids, because you can only have four of them in your deck, and I felt like I needed more mana acceleration, but every time I draw one of those uh, havens, it does feel like a bit of a kick in the teeth. In this instance, though, again, uh, I kind of got away with it. This guy's playing, I guess, some sort of mono blue mill deck like i was shaking in my boots expecting um an esper deck like some kind of insufferable grinding control deck but i honestly haven't seen any of them as i said earlier like in platinum sort of four and three and down all the way down to silver really you get a lot of very tediously meta decks but up here you, see, you get a lot of like weird, unique decks. It's quite refreshing because I'm sat here actually having to think about what I do next. You know, I decided to play my questing beast um, because it can't be blocked, and I, I don't expect like he's clearly building up an engine where he ends up milling me. Like he's bringing out Ashiok now, and it's like okay, so I'm going to be losing. I don't know eight cards a turn, but like I'll be doing four at least four damage. So I um I think I'm gonna win before he does. So I just keep I just keep hitting him in the face. And that I mean that that return to nature right there is just an opportunity to be an absolute dickhead. So uh you know, I take it. <laughs> I'll just chomp one of his uh uh sort of milling cards and then I'll um I'll smash that stupid enchantment to pieces. Except I don't get the opportunity because I guess like a lot of players in Platinum 1, um, they, don't, they just don't have any time to fail. So the moment you disrupt their plan, they just give up. Uh, and much like them, I will now give up on making this video. It's already plenty long enough. It's five matches, four and one, can't complain. I'm sure things will go as smoothly here on in what have we learned we've learned that people in platinum one play some weird fucking decks and they don't seem to know how to play them and that uh sometimes there'll just be a really terrible black card that i've never seen before that completely ruins my day uh all right that's it here's the theme tune did i make a theme tune let's find out